when I was 19, I saw this National Guard commercial where this um, National Guardsman is driving a tank and the tank jumps over a berm. And when I enlisted, I went into tanks and I realized that if you did that with a tank, the tank would break. You see this on the commercial. And then at the end of the commercial, it says you could still be home in time for dinner. And they show the guy eating dinner with his family. So, but you didn't really think of that when, uh, when you sent them to Iraq. He's not going to be home in time for dinner. Someone won't come home at all. Mullins joined the National Guard in 2000 with plans to use military service as a ticket to college. But after 9-11, instead of school, he was sent to Iraq. Even after joining the National Guard and expecting to get those benefits, before I had went to war, I was not given the benefits at all. I had been still paying for my college education out of my own pocket. And I can't even say that my recruiter was a liar because I'm sure that he didn't know that we would happen upon a war um, that would be this huge and then the National Guard would be deployed. Now at Lehman College in the Bronx, the 24-year-old student is an ardent war critic and member of the anti-recruitment group Iraq Veterans Against the War. In a post-September 11th world, you know, using the military as a step stool to get a college education is just, I mean, it's suicide. But you'll still have some people who will use it because they really feel like they don't have many other options. I mean, now the recruiting practices that I see are just disgusting. You know, there's a recruiting station not too far from my house. It's on Fordham Road. Constantly you see, uh, they have like a Hummer, like the H3 parked out front pl playing like reggaeton because there's a large um, Latino population here. Or playing hip hop so they can get the kids to come over to the H3 so they can talk to them. It's really gross, the recruiting practices. And children fall right into it because it's so... It's natural, you know, you're being trained, you're being indoctrinated before you even realize, you know, what it is. As a child, especially a young male, you know, you have a lot of aggression and you use different things to, to focus it. You know, you play video games where you shoot people and you learn about weapon systems. When I was 15, 16 years old, you could ask me about um, the M16 and I could tell you so many different things about it just that I learned off of playing video games you know and the military uses that to their advantage man. I would never want to put um, another young person in the position that I was in where they could potentially be you know um, disabled for the rest of their life or die from you know this experience. For this war it, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night.